Sakui and Ball Ularam, or hello everyone and welcome. A Wolves Den Games is proud to present Thunderstruck Thursdays with more power. With your host, Chris Moore. Hey guys, welcome to my stream. I'm Chris Moore and I'm hosting Thunderstruck Thursdays with more power. And I am going to play some Plague for you guys. If you want to know what kind of disease I want to try, give me some options and I'll choose from you guys. Give us a second, folks. Hello, Miss Adika. Sorry folks, that was a little technical difficulties, but I'm back and I am running. So what kind of disease should I do? I'm going to do a tutorial since I haven't done it online. So I'll go and try it. Disease is... Mad libs. Mad libs. One, two. If you guys like that, alright. It says, Welcome to Plague Incorporation. Are you ready to infect the worlds? In this tutorial, we'll learn the basics of Plague Incorporated and infect the world together. Think of it in a, as infectious disease school. First, you need to choose where you. Your disease will begin. Start in China. Click to it to select it. Okay. okay.
so far we have no people affected, but we still have some diseases to get out of here. So this bubble says you can zoom in for a closer view at the action, scroll up or drag the slider up to zoom in. So if I zoom all the way in and drag it, there's a few people infected in China. Not much though. But we have a few things going on. Use the up, down, left and right arrow keys for the, or the devil. WASD keys to navigate around the map while zoomed in. Sure thing, Miss Adika, I can do that. When you're zoomed in, you scroll down or drag the slider down to zoom back out and see the whole world again. Alright, let's see here. Got a DNA right there. Got a few actually. Going to read some news. Let's see what the news is. So, 726 2019 Missionary Woman donates billions to charity. Justin Bibble trampled by fans. First public chicken crossing declared in Peru. Minis miniature black hole not a concern, says scientists. Natural Kustak. Constrastrophes, I can say that. Posing ever increasing threats on who? Got another couple DNA. Mad Libs 12 is re really starting to spread. Pop the red bubbles to get more DNA. Let's take a closer look at the country our disease just infected. Click here to select that country. I infected Russia. The. Uh, the country screen shows how individual countries are responding to your disease. This shows if the country's borders are open or not. If a country has shut its borders, your disease will struggle to get in. Here are actions that the government is carrying out to try and prevent your disease from spreading. Here you can see how much, your mo how much money the country is spending to research a cure for your disease. Here you can learn some more about your country. When you reach finish exploring the country screen, click X to return to the map screen. Alright. So far I got one infected in Russia. But that is just a tutorial, so I will be right back. Seeing what kind of thing I can get. 
got some more DNA, so let's... Wait, what did that say? Malibs 12 has mutated and developed the rash symptom without using DNA points. Awesome. That should work. Cause I'm going to do that. Evolve that. Okay. I still have 18 left, so I'm going to do the livestock. Got another plague. So let's see here. So far I got three, four people infected in Russia. Got most, almost 1.5 million people. I got Southeast Asia. Not much, but it's alright. My disease is coming through, guys. In China, it's 22 million so far. Central Asia, 400. Almost 5. Last time, wow, it's rapidly increasing. Citus, symptom without using DNA points. So let's go back over here to the DNA screen. Symptoms, I don't think I can. Oh, no mind. So I'll use that one, and I'll do that one. And abilities, bacterial resilience, so that's good. I can use that. And then cold resistant should finish some of them off. I'll show you. Got infected. China's almost infected, all the way. Mexico's new minor disease spreading in a normal checkup a doctor in China found a new disease which have been named Mad Libs 12 it appears to be mostly harmless but must be investigated further other countries are also reported that this disease so basically almost all of China has been passed away because of my disease so I'm going to add some more things just so I can get some more people down. Afghanistan starts to work on cure. Afghanistan is first to instruct doctors to begin research into a cure for Mad Libs 12. Without greater funding, it is expected to take a long time. Well, in China, there's all almost all their population is done. It says all of them are infected, but None of them are dead quite yet, so I still have to continue. Heat resilience has to come into play. And let's do drug resistance, just because there's no drugs allowed in the game. So more people are getting infected. So this should take about 20 25 minutes at most to get the whole place infected because if you look here Russia most of Asia is covered in my plague tumorous symptoms mutated Mad Libs 12 has mutated and developed a tumorous symptom without using DNA points that's good I'm going to be right back and get some more people infected dang it I need about four more DNA points but I can do this that works from it now holy look at that the United States has first death in Korea first death of from Mad Libs 12 has been confirmed in Korea bad luck or the beginning of something's terrible Whenever I played this on my phone, I was like, how is this possible? Because I was reading it and it says Greenland can be affected. Mad Libs 12 placed on watch list. Mad Libs 12 has been placed on the WHO watch list. Already dangerous governments are warned that it could become unstoppable. Well, if you look at Central Asia, it's terrible. Almost 16, 20 people. 20,000 people are dead 
In China, about half of them, not even a half, but a quarter of them are passed, have passed away. Because this is so incredible. Let me get some more people, get all that. I can do that. I uh, need about, okay. Can I do any more transmissions? I think I can. I think so, yeah. Yeah, but not right now. All right. Sweating symptom mutated. Madlibs 12 has mutated and developed the sweating symptom without using DNA points. That's good to know because I don't like using all my DNA points on just one thing. It says Russia su shuts down airports. Russia has become the first country to try to limit the spread of Malibs 12 by limiting access into and out of the country. Time will tell if it will work. <laughs> A Wolf's Den game says you can always move the chair closer if it helps. Hopefully it doesn't become Ron stoppable. That's funny. Didn't realize that, that was funny. New Zealand leading global cure effort. New Zealand has started to send research teams to infected countries, hoping it to speed up development of a cure of, for Mad Libs 12. Pop blue bubbles to destroy their research. That's possible because if I do that, they cannot stop my disease. Destroy that. You cannot do any research with me. Get out of here. No one likes research. Am I right? Look at all of the middle. Well, mid. Western and all that. Dang, dude. Mostly everyone has been infected. U.S. has been infected 377,282 out of 315 million. Insomnia symptom mutated. The Mad Libs 12 has mutated and developed an insomnia symptom without using DNA points. That's good to know. If you try to come near me, I will hurt you. No one shall be able to make symptoms without my knowledge. Let's get some more symptoms running and up. <laughs> Thanks a Wolf's Den game. <laughs> Insomnia Squad ratings rise. Thank you for that. There's all that, so that should help. Get some more DNA, even though it's only one. That's totally fine for now. 7 billion people have been infected only one percent are healthy that's good and it's most of them is in west africa no no disease cures there are no healthy people left in the world the last healthy person on the planet recently became infected with mad lips 12. so that should be that most of the planet is almost infected or totally dead anemia symptom mutated <laughs> thank you miss Atika she said doink doink Bobsta McMahon said you look well different from the overnight what the fuck lol and then I don't know what mom said so I will See what I can do about that. So, hopefully, the disease can st kill most of the people, if not all of them, because no one wants to cure. The only cure available is to die. <laughs> Without me knowing. Get some rodent. I don't think I can get anything else, to be honest. I might be able to. I only have five, so I can get. Can I get? Yeah, I can get that. There we go. 
45% of the world is trying to find a cure, but it's not going to happen. Research doctors all around the world are completely focused on developing a cure for my lips 12. I don't think it's possible. Oops. Sorry. How many people? I need people. I don't want people to find the cures because I like killing people in this game. I know it might take a while to get more disease or DNA points, but it's okay. If I stop their curing disease, then that's possible. So zero are healthy, about maybe an eighth of the world's population is dead. And I still have a few weeks to go to see if they get all infected by then. Hopefully they do. I just don't want the cure to happen because no one wants a cure for the Mad Lips 12 disease. The cure for Mad Lips 12 is com 95 complete and development will begin shortly. Oh. Cure for Mad Lips 12 is complete. The cure for Mad Lips 12 is finished and being deployed worldwide. Oh crap. They're trying to cure. Tsunami hits New Guinea. Guinea. An extreme tsunami hits New Guinea who analyze So that before I had a technical difficulty, a tsunami hits New Guinea, extreme tsunami hits New Guinea, who analysts expect significantly significant loss of life despite existence of early warning systems. So does that mean that the world has cured my disease or no? Yes, it has, because 98% of the world has been cured, and now is healthy. So I need to do something about that. The Walking Dead symptom combo, insomnia and anemia, are causing people to walk around gray. With tiredness, scientists working on the cure for Mad Libs 12 are less productive. That should help somewhat. Mad Libs 12 to be erdicted, the world has survived a devastating plague and will soon eradicate Mad Libs 12 forever. Large numbers of people have died and the world has changed forever. So hopeful. No, Sudan's all the way healthy. Oh, I got defeated in my first ever try. Mad Lips 12 has been cured. Bad luck, your disease didn't manage, manage to infect and kill the entire world. That's okay. Practice makes perfect. Maybe try the main game on casual difficulty until you get the hang of it. If you need, if you need any more help, check out the how to play section for more advanced tips. You'll beat it next time. Well, it's okay. Hopefully I can do it better. So let's do main game. Let's do it. New plague discovered single player. The following new plague type has been discovered and unlocked shadow plague in single player. I guess I had to do a bacteria first. That's okay. 
Or should I do Simeon Flu or Shadow Plague? I want to do Shadow Plague because it says Sentient Mutagenic Pathogen Triggers a Powerful Think for Blood. Thirst for Blood. So it's kind of like a zombie, kind of. But it's better. Okay, so you can use genes to add special bonuses to your disease. You can have up to five genes active to any time. Experiment with the different combinations. Each time you complete a game, you will unlock a new gene. Try and unlock the full set. Click on each gene category to see what genes are out there waiting to be unlocked. Okay. Can't get any of those. Don't think I can get any of these. Because I just started with it. Yep. 0% genes unlocked. That's okay. If I beat the game, that would work. For casual, you might want to try playing on casual difficulty until you get the hang of the game or dive straight into normal for more of a challenge. Beating each main disease type on normal difficulty or higher will unlock the next one. Good luck. So for casual, for new players or those wanting a quick game, no one washes their hands. Researchers, doctors that don't work. Sick people giving hugs. For normal, for experienced genetic strategists, 67 Point three percent of people wash their hands. Doctors work three days a week. Sick people ignored. So that's not that great. For strategic, for brutal, for strategic geniuses living in concrete bunkers. Compulsive hand washing. Doctors never go home. Sick people locked in prison. Well, that sucks. If I do brutal, mega brutal for p players who. Thought brutal was casual. Genetic drift impacts evolution. Doctors invest in research. Random medical checkups. So for now, I'm going to do a casual because I'm still getting the hang of it. But here's where you guys come into play. I am taking up to five plague names if you guys want to choose one. So I will let you guys decide on what my plague is, and I can if you guys want, I can do a baseball kind of plague or something like that. <laughs> Mr. Dico, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Runny snot poop. Mercer fever was my first one. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> but for today <laughs> well all those options are pretty good I might do Miss Adika's Facebook one just for the first time and then hopefully next week if I stream again I'll probably do turd smugglers smugglings so for today I'll do Facebook Facebook is the disease name. Play. Something is waking. Centuries ago, a human close to death was infected by a sent sentient pathogen, the Shadow Plague. Buried deep underground was human slowly consumed and transformed. Choose where your vampire emerges. emerges. The Shadow Plague has fully mutated the DNA of its host into a being of great power. Now driven by his eternal hunger, it is time to rejoin the world. This time, humanity will fail. Where should I start? I think one of the biggest places on the planet will probably be Russia to start. Vampire rises in Russia. The world has changed beyond belief, but the vampire can already smell the blood of Billions of humans waiting to be consumed and subjugated. Subjugated. So even though I just started, I have 27 DNA points. 
So let's see what I can do. I think I can only get symptoms. Yep, Shadow Blessings. This vampire releases the Shadow Plague to help subjugate humanity. Victims develop severe bruising. I will be getting that just because they cannot. They de develop severe bruising. So right now let's do Vampire Awakening first. They cannot dissolve that. That's so let's just do those real quick. Can I get anything else? Yes, I can get through that and that should be good for now. So it started in Russia. Vampiric Awakening begins. Hundreds of millions of people will be killed by Facebook as it searches for viable hosts to turn into a vampire. To speed things up and affect more people, Vampiric Awakening can be used repeatedly. Already three people are dead in Russia. Make that six of eight. Facebook created by Vampire. The vampire releases a unique strain of the shadow play called Facebook, which spreads independently from the vampire. Infected humans have no idea what the vampire has planned for them. Oh no. Oh no, Jeffrey. Oh no. Oh, your vampire can change the world. Your vampire is shown as a red icon on the world map. It has unique powers and abilities. To use it wisely as you can as you try to cover the world in shadows let's get some dna hopefully i can get some more people infected before then so far no one has been that severely got some more dna right there so let's see here if i there's some russia That should be good for now. Nothing's really severe as of right now. <laughs> In Indonesia, nothing has happened yet. Facebook needs help from vampire to spread. Your disease is weak and vulnerable. Your vampire must evolve to use its powers to help spread it. Otherwise, it can be cured easily. Okay. So I guess I have to use vampires. So bloodthirst cannot be. That's fine. I can do this. Evolve that. Can I evolve that? Yes. That's fine. I got night wrath. I got bloodthirst. And I got blood gift. Which is all somewhat good to use for now. I know it's not much, but so far, there's a few people dead in Russia, but there's a few people infected already. Oh, got some more DNA coming in. Got some more DNA. That's part of Russia, isn't it? yeah. I'm trying to look for Madagascar. I don't know where it is located. It's the Philippines. New Guinea, the Caribbean, the United Kingdom, Iceland. How is Iceland bigger than, well, smaller than Greenland? That's my question. Vampire feeding attracts attention in Russia. The vampire feeds by drinking the blood of its victims, leaving behind drained corpses. It is only a matter of, the t of time before the humans realize that they are dealing with something far worse than a murderous cult. So that should be good to know because I'm trying to get as much people as I can die. As I'm hopeful I can get people dead before the end of the game. There's more. I got Dark Cloud now. Vampire able to meditate and emit the Shadow Plague in, it, in a huge cloud. Tenants of thousands of humans of e infected each day so that should work <sighs> it's Madagascar yep found Madagascar finally <laughs> but I'm trying to get some more people 
That's more DNA. Unknown and sea spotted in Russia. Authorities in Russia express a concern over previous unknown pathogen called Facebook genetic analyst analysis show simul similarities with bat borne diseases and it appears to cause severe bruising in humans. Well, that's good to know because I actually included diseases including bruising so that should help banks report record profits global banks reported re record profits today and announced cheap loans for everyone public forgives banks and goes bank back to shopping so let's hopefully get some more people dead before the end of the stream it's already January of 2020 hopefully wow close oh got a new person nope it was close in here China has been infected now so that's good Pakistan, Kazakhstan, I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry, but they have been infected. Ukraine has not. Some more places have been plagued. Facebook placed on watch list. Facebook has been placed on the WHO watch list due to its ability to cause severe bruising on, on its victims. It's already dangerous. Governments are warned that it could become unstoppable. That should be interesting because there's a few people, well, a few places so far getting infected. Let's get some more parts of either vampires. Excuse me, guys. Can I get, should I do vampires or get some transmissions or the symptoms? Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for the egg. I'm going to do Shadow Trail just because I might need it soon. And I'm going to do Corrupted Air. And last, I'm going to do Their Anthropy. Which I cannot just dissolve because it's part of the thing. Oops. Active Abilities. Send a vampire to another country. Okay. Send a vampire. I'll send the vampire right there. Just to see what happens next. Because, see, since I started in Russia, it's going all the way to Kakistan. See what is going on. That is not good for Kakistan. Because if you look at here, the world population, even though the 99% are healthy, look at how many people are dead already. 26,533,830 people have passed away from a disease named Facebook. So if I move my vampire up to, let's say... Hopefully I can go move again. Yeah, that's true. New lab built in Australia to cure Facebook due to concern over the unusual and unpredictable nature of Facebook. The WHO is funding a new global system of research labs. These labs will try to cure the pathogen and train research staff in other countries. But, if I have to, I will move my vampire all the way to Australia so they can not do that. Blood cult murders continues in Russia. Authorities in Russia are battling to solve the blood cult must murders that are terrifying the country. So far, no one has been caught, but they claim it is only a matter of time. So if I can, can I move my bat again on oh, my vampire? 
to Australia? Nope, I have to be somewhere in the vicinity. So let's go to Pakistan. Blood cult leader trapped by Russia. Yeah, I like the allies for this game, too. Authorities in Russia have confirmed that they are tracking a highly dangerous individual who they believe is responsible for the horrifying blood cult murders that have shocked the world. So I'm going to Pakistan, see if that helps me get some people. I'm trying to get all the way to Australia so they cannot find a cure. It says 4% of the world has found a cure, but it's not going to happen any longer so. I'm sorry Kakistan I have to go back to Russia soon because it's not infecting as many people so hopefully let me go here again change my get my bed out of here let's go I can't go there so, so let's go to India then. The question is how is this possible because it says oh never mind. Never mind guys. I was reading something else. Cause the world has killed over a hundred and eighteen million. Templar industries reveal global vampire threat. The secretive man Multinational national defense company says a vampire is behind the shocking blood cult murders, as well as the outbreak of Facebook Templar. Industries claim to be taking urge action to defend humanity. So let's get some more some vampire stuff. So let's get that. And I don't think I can. Get, I can get one more thing later. That's totally fine. Let's do it. So if I can move oh crap what did i unlock let's move vampire creates lair in india hidden away from humans this lair acts as a base for the vampire here it can heal itself as well as generate dna by conducting generic genetic and experiments on healthy and infected Affected people so that should be good so if I go here oh wait I have three of them so I can place another one in Russia if I can or do I have to pick somewhere yes I can't use it quite yet but let's move my person to Indonesia Templar Industries activate military protocols claiming that humanity is at risk of extinction. Templar Industries have activated advanced military bases across the globe to fight the vampire threat. Well, you can try to do that, guys, but it's not going to work out. Let's get that one more time before I start. And now I'm going to Australia to infect them. Templar are working to cure Facebook. Templar Industries commit to use their military research facilities to help develop a cure for Facebook. They emit, no, aim to exploit their knowledge of the vampire to push research in new directions. So, hopefully my vampire can last in Australia so they can get infected. back real quick a hundred percent of Iran is healthy Facebook struggles to spread in harsh harsh climates okay I guess oh crap is that going down it is going down so I have to hopefully take this move that Back up real quick. Okay. Let's get all sure up infected. Okay, 
now if I have to I will have to go back to Russia let's go to Southeast Asia just see if that helps people more infected but I just don't know how to because they're trying to make a cure and it's not helping me so hopefully before the end of the stream I can have people infect Poller symptom mutated Facebook has mutated and developed a Poller symptom without using DNA points that's good to know I just don't see it might be a transmission or a symptom it is a I think it's a symptom I only have two DNA so it should be yeah might as well get zoonotic shift just because it might help later in the stream so let's move my oh I can't Okay, new vampire created in Indonesia after killing millions the shadow plague has successfully manipulated the DNA after an infected victim in Indonesia and turned them into a vampire the new vampire needs to heal up to full strength that should be work that should work uh, okay I just don't know how I'm going to do this as much. So, oh crap. Yeah. It, I don't think this is going to work out guys. Because the cure ha has been 75% compl complete. So if I go all the way to destroy labs to prevent the cure for Facebook. Okay. I'll definitely try. I couldn't read that in time. I'm sorry. All it's basically said is destroy the labs. Crap. The cure has been developed fully, so I have to move my character. Let's go all the way there. Can I move you too? Before anything. Can't right now. Wait till that guy lands and then I can move this guy back over here. Cure poisons vampire crap. The vampire in China is forced to feed off humans who have received the cure to Facebook. Their blood is toxic to the shadow plague and the vampire is poisoned every time it feeds. That should not be good. Let's go all the way to Russia then since China's already found the cure. And I don't think it's, yeah, I have been, yeah, <laughs> vampire slain in Russia, a vampire has been killed in Russia, it's diseased, corpses, corpse bursts into flames and releases a dark smoke into the sky. I think that means if it's possible, yep. I have been killed. Facebook to be erudited. Erudite. Yeah. Yep. I have been defeated. So after a year and a few months, I have been defeated. Well, that should be okay. It's not the greatest because I didn't know how to use that. So now, since that was only, what, 15, 20 minutes as most, I'm going to try to do another one before I take a little break. So let's do official scenarios, experience with real 
real life diseases and altered worlds, custom scenarios, experience player created scenarios via the Steam Workshop, speedrun complete with friends to see who can wipe out humanity f the fastest. So yeah, let's go to main game. Let's just do bacteria because it should be easier for me to use it. Do I have any genes to be unlocked? I do not. Nope, I do not. So, let's again do casual play. And this time, since I already did Facebook, I'm going to do turret smugglings. And before I start, I am going to take a little break and I'll be back in 5 to 10 minutes. They've walked you through Horizon Zero Dawn. Through The Last of Us. And through For Honor. This summer, one man, one horde, one motorcycle. Many locations to an open world map and one very large arsenal. When the dust settles at the end of the day, who will remain standing? Will it be Deacon St. John? or those he stands against. Find out for yourself at twitch.tv slash wildwolfgaming1. Stay wild, everyone. In the video game streaming system, the viewers are represented by two distinct groups. The gamers who provide walkthroughs and compete for wins, and the entertainers who provide nonsense and fun. These are the games of the Insomnia Squad. Doink Doink by Mike Post.
come to twitch.tv slash wolvesdengames and click the follow button. That way you will be notified for further games by the Insomnia Squad. Sakuyanade, welcome. Uh, just filling in a little extra time here uh, while our new host takes a quick break. Um, we're uh, trying out some new ideas for some shows and and seeing what we can do with things um, and having some additional folks. Oh, whoops! Crap. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, and having uh, other people who can help step in and um, fill in uh, Oh hey, uh, sorry about that Bob. So the name for this game is Plague Inc. If he hadn't mentioned it. Um, but uh, yeah, we're trying out some, some additional shows and some uh, new hosts and that kind of thing. Mostly because since our main focus is tabletop and I do most of the writing and designing, uh, if I'm on camera it makes it difficult for me to get a lot of the other work done. Um, 
but we do appreciate everyone who comes out uh, we're hoping to find a few things to help bring some more people over to um, the channel whether it's uh, over on Facebook or we also have YouTube and uh, Twitch is our main our main broadcasting location um, you can see the name of our channel directly up there uh, twitch.tv slash games in case it's a little hard to read uh, let me know if you'd like me to kind of throw a little uh, something behind it to make it a little clearer for the most part uh, we're just here for entertainment and to uh, get a little bit of a, a break from all the additional work um, I'm more than happy to to uh, possibly jump in at the end of, of Chris's run here on Plague. Uh, probably with a different game. Because I figure I'll, I'll let him uh, get all the achievements for this one. As I hadn't touched it yet. So, uh, there are some games I wish I could bring. But for whatever reason, the computer doesn't want to run it. Or... Um, various reasons and so forth. Uh, but we're ma mainly still trying to get our feet under us as far as the broadcasting stuff because with our main focus being tabletop, um, being on camera isn't really something we'd uh, done a lot of. We have been Miss Adik and I have both been in one feature-length film. Um, in fact, it's even free up on YouTube. Uh, if you guys would even be interested, I can speak with the uh, director and producer and see if he might be willing to do a live Q&A with you guys with the uh, the showing of it, perhaps? Uh, I can't make any promises because I haven't even discussed that with him yet, but it's a thought. Uh, help uh, those of you out there get more familiar with some of the additional entertainment options that are out there. And uh, Sunday the 28th, is it the 28th, Miss Adika? I know that she had me put it up on the calendar. Um, yes, uh, he has another one coming, so there will be a day, the 28th, where we might not be able to get in a stream. I will I, I will attempt to at least get in an Insomnia Squad that day, but uh, we will be working on yet another film project. Uh, we have... Um, I apologize for all the the extra time taken up by those those little commercials of ours, but for the most part, those are to let you know what we and our associates have available, but also because I know how much uh, dead air can suck. That way you at least have something to look at and I try to put a little bit of humor in each of them enough to to make at least a little bit of it fun to see. Um, the rest of it is more my attempt at um, putting a little extra uh, work out there as well as to fill some of that dead air time uh, that also lets you guys know uh, if once we get the proper number and length for them um, you guys will will know exactly how long you have to uh, step away and gra get whatever you need done done whether it's grabbing snacks or Make sure you stay hydrated. That's always important. Um, 
but yeah that kind of thing for the most part we just want to be uh, a friendly supportive channel that people can can come to for some relaxation and entertainment and hopefully eventually showcase some of our own games but uh, we will be getting back to the game here in just a minute so thank you for joining us so far and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the show in the meantime uh, we'll see you again soon and I will hand this over to Chris Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm just trying to find a, my camera angle. So, Alt S. Whoops, that's not good. Alt G. There we go. I don't think you guys can see my game, so I will see if I can change that. And Alt I, I think. No, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm so new to this game, so let's try Alt G again. I don't think you guys can see what I'm doing, so I'm sorry. I will be right back and try to get some help. Hello guys and welcome back. Let's do There we are. I am back and up and running. I think you guys can 
Where should I start? Turd smugglers. Sorry folks, we're having some technical difficulties here on the main game screen in order to be able to see the game. It's refusing to bring it up and the only way we'd be able to show it would be seem to be able to get it to show is uh, uh. yes I have and percussive maintenance is not making any bit of difference either. Um, I think we may have to call this here until we can figure out why the heck all of a sudden it refuses to work.
I'm doing everything I can think of to get it to pop up and it's just coming up as blank give me a second maybe I can no that's not making a difference either all it's done is alter the scaling on the small version for some reason it'll show up on this screen but you guys don't want to see it on that smallest screen I mean who would and it's just coming up as a completely black that's right Let's try that. Maybe that. I have no idea what's going on here folks I'm sorry we're gonna have to call this here because all of a sudden plague has decided no we're not gonna work I don't think it's twitch it's it's the program uh, the broadcasting program it's refusing to pick up plague on the big big setup right now and I don't know why so we're gonna have to call that one here folks I apologize uh, I will see what I can do and hopefully we will have some more plague for you um, next week in the meantime I'll see what I can come up with uh, for a little bit of additional entertainment uh, however for those who may be interested over at Let's see, let's bring this up. Yeah, you'll notice up here in the top by the... by the thing that everything's kind of shrunk on us. And, I mean, you can't even really pay any attention to the game whatsoever if it refuses to come up. You know what I mean? Because that's just, that's not big enough. So, since I can't seem to figure out what's going, what's going on here, we're just going to call this here. Um, I may put something on uh, to make up for our lost time here. I apologize again for whatever the heck is going on here. But, uh, over at, let's see, let me go ahead and type it out so everybody can get it here. In, let's see, what time is it? In two hours and eight minutes, over on twitch.tv slash critical role, there... Uh, campaign session is live tonight um, so we will be off air by then no matter what because that's a show we don't miss and if you want to join us over there well you're more than welcome to in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and shut this particular game down because I don't know what's going on with that um, if you'd like, I could probably jump back on here in a few minutes to do something. Uh, if that's something you'd like to see, please let us know. Um, 
we do try and check all of our comments and everything as we go. So, uh, thank you for joining us so far. I apologize for technical glitches. Uh, please feel free to come over to twitch.tv slash wolvesdengames for the information down below. Um, that particular bit of information um, on who we are and what we do and that kind of thing is uh, will help give better idea of of just what we're about as opposed to these streams because these streams are more our mandatory rest break and uh, stress relief throughout the week from our actual work of designing and writing and building tabletop games and accessories. Uh, any information regarding that or the few uh, items we have mostly in order to help uh, support um, community strength uh, particularly through cooperation friendly competition and that togetherness you get from sitting around a gaming table with your friends and having fun and meeting new people because hey I know that game I like that game let's talk about that game hey what else do we have in common that kind of thing that helps build communities, helps people feel closer to each other and realize that despite everything that seems to be uh, pushed on us these days, we're all human beings. We should probably treat each other like that if we intend to continue, you know, surviving. Just a thought. In the meantime, uh, we will be back shortly i'm going to go grab carl for our outro and hope everyone has a wonderful day and we'll see you soon remember folks cooperation competition community kind of things we all need Thank you all for joining us. Please give us a follow on twitch.tv slash a wolf's end games. Long days and pleasant nights. Jate ka nade, or good night everyone.